Hokey dokey, second example for this problem. I'll try to work out a little bit faster. Feel free to check out the first example I've worked out if you'd like more of a breakdown. So we are going to start by using sample two's data in this case and plug it all into the equation we are given. So Q is equal to 74.5. A is what we're solving for. Z is 17 and it looks like Z is being squared. So we can't forget to square that over L times M, where L is 3 and M is 13. So it may be easiest to go ahead and calculate 17 squared over 3 times 13. 17 squared over 3 times 13, and that gives us about 7.41. So we have 74.1 equals 7.41 times K. So to get k by itself here, we just divide by 7.41, and these look similar, and that's because k is likely equal to 10. It's just a, a decimal shift there. So just to demonstrate, 74.1 divided by 7.41 is it's 10, exactly. So um, we have that our k value is equal to 10, now that we have our k value, we move on to sample 1 values, and we sort of restart that process. We plug in everything we know, so we know q is 2. We now know our k value is 10, and we're plugging in our z value we actually do not know. So we have z squared. On the bottom, we have uh, l times m, or 5 times 16. And now we need to isolate z on this right side some kind of trick that'll help make this a little bit easier is we can eliminate 10 divided by 5 here 10 over 5 would leave us with a nice 2 so just to simplify what we have we have 2 z squared over 16 if you prefer to look at it like this this will do so then from here we have a 2 on each side so we can divide by 2 on both sides to cancel it really from both sides. 2 divided by 2 leaves us with a 1 on the left side equals z squared over 16. We're going to multiply by 16 on both sides giving us 16 equals z squared which means when we take the square root of both sides we will get technically plus or minus 4 but they will probably just use the positive 4 in this case. We'll see what they have. Yep. So um, 4 looks like our best answer, so we break out the eraser, we see that A is our answer.